What's going on everybody? I'm here today to talk about how you can make $85 an hour doing furniture assembly, such as this. Today I had a job doing four bar stools, as you can see, and I'm just going to walk you through the process of assembly and how you can use side jobs to make a really good amount of money doing a side gig or even if this is your primary job you know you can make good money doing this so this job this particular job I was assembling four bar stools um, as you can see in the picture there they're fairly simple nothing complicated and um, you know, you, you can do this all day. If you line your schedule up right, you know, whether it's through Handy or TaskRabbit or through Amazon or Wayfair or through clients you know or through putting yourself out there on Yelp, there's all sorts of different ways to get jobs like this. So this particular job, the base pay was $64 to assemble these four bar stools. Now, I will say that that's a little bit higher than normal. Um, this particular set that the client bought, it was priced out at two bar stools. That was the set. Normally, a set of, of, of chairs or stools will be four. So, I, I might get paid, you know, $30 or $35 to assemble four chairs or stools. In this case, the set happened to be limited to two chairs. So the customer bought two sets, meaning four chairs, and I ended up getting a payout that was $64. So that, that's a little bit higher of a payout than normal, but this just goes to show you how you can make a really good amount of money per hour if you set yourself up correctly, you deal with customers in a positive way, and, you know, you... you um, Pursue all this, all the avenues of gig work in, in the best way you can so you can set yourself up to get jobs like this. So I'm doing this in what you can see is a fairly new construction home. This is uh, in the first level of this house, maybe the basement level or the first level. It's kind of a man cave situation here. You got the um, flat screen on the wall, the fireplace there, some... Uh, refrigerator and cabinetry on the left this is a pretty expensive home uh, this customer clearly has no problem paying for you know 60 odd dollars to get a couple of um, bar stools assembled so as I'm going through here I'm taking the packaging off doing different things uh, I'm trying to keep myself neat as possible as I go and um, and unpackaging things as quickly as possible while obviously you know keeping the area clean keeping all that packaging into uh, you know one bag there on the side but also um, making sure that I keep the customers product um, you know without nicking and damaging it or anything so here I am just taking that packaging off as quickly as possible and getting ready to proceed with the assembly. All right, now I'm putting together the washers with the bolts. These particular chairs use, I believe, a six millimeter bolt with washers. So I'm just putting all the washers onto the bolts. It's better to get all this stuff ready out of the way before you start putting them together. So there's the bolts there. And as you can see from the two steps in the assembly instructions, this is an extremely difficult assembly. So, got the drill going here. Don't use this. Don't use the L. 
DL hex key, use the drill, make your life easier. So you can see the feet and base go on like that with the open space facing towards the back. I don't screw the bolts all the way in because you want to leave those legs loose a little bit until the very last screw goes in. If you tighten them all down in the beginning, by the time you get to the last bolt, they might not line up. Whenever you're screwing in multiple bolts, multiple screws into a either a prepped screw hole or bolt holes, you, you want to make sure that you leave it loose so that by the time you get to that last bolt hole, there's a little bit of flexibility in the, the piece that you can make sure that everything lines up. So here I am getting everything started and then tightening everything down. And there's the client. She's taking a look at the first chair that's been completed. This is part of the job that goes quickly. I've got my uh, drill chuck set to about 16 so I can just buzz those uh, bolts down real hard. I'm just chatting it up with the clients a little bit. She said the chairs looked a little bit short, but when she uh, put them up against the bar in that uh, kitchen area, she said they looked good. So I'm just cleaning up a little bit. And that's your finished product. Looks good. All right, we're back in the car after that job. It was a nice, quick and easy one. The customer's happy. She gave us a nice little $20 tip. So that brings our total for this hour to $84. Um, we're in a real nice neighborhood. There's a golf course literally right across from here. Um, this is the general look of the neighborhood here. So as you can see, pretty new housing fairly wealthy areas. These are the kind of areas that you can clean up in and do real well. And we did well for this, uh, this quick little barstool job. And with that, we'll see you next time.